This past weekend, you may have seen this YouTube short about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero from the official Bandai Namco account. You just played Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Can you explain your experience to us using three words? Fast. It is very flashy, very detailed too. Yes, yes, that's me. And while I gave my answer in three words plus some objectives, I came up with a plan to expose the truth. My arm is dying. Wait. Oh, you're going to be okay, man. I'm not going to be okay. We've I'm never be met okay. before. It's no, a pleasure to not. meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man, too. Nice, nice to meet you. I don't have any hands. It's okay. While at that exact same spot where everyone described Sparking Zero with just three words, powerful. You don't even know what that is. I talked to everyone that I was able to get in front of a camera to get their unfiltered opinions without being limited to only three words or less. We've collabed a lot in the past. True. We have. Yes, we have. We have never met in person. This True. is the first time we're bumping elbows. Yes. Uh, yeah. This is the first time we're touching. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to also, for the first time, touch our tongues. N not that one. I think this, we can say this is our tongues. This this low key, because like pronoun my elbow and your elbow tongue, we just did it. Bow. 2024. Fun fact, only a few hours later, I would test positive for COVID. What do you think? I thought it was amazing. I loved it. This is not three words or less, I can go crazy? You can go crazy. Okay, bet. Um, I was really blown back by, I guess, mainly the movement. I think that's what threw me off. I seen it in trailers, but it didn't do, yeah, it didn't do justice an actual person, mm. bro. Um, it really brought me back to a time when I was 12 years old, playing with my friends in my room after school, just Tenkaichi, just that excitement, bro. The trailer beforehand had, I don't know if we could talk about that, but there was a trailer that we was can, just, we can. we can? Yeah, th this is oh, after Embargo. Bro, it had Rock the Dragon, dude. Oh, it was so dope. Rock was, the Dragon. It was amazing, it was yeah. amazing. The excitement is so big, I cannot hold my camera straight. My yeah, arm is dying. That's this, excitement. This Parkinson's camera right shake there, is crazy. This is live excitement you're watching. <laughs> Hit the like button, what are you doing? Uh, uh, uh. I'll just hold it. Okay. And when I ask questions, you pass it over to me. Ask me a question. Do you want to touch tips like Vegito? I'm good. I'm, I'll pass. That game. I'm sad. Honestly, it, it sucks because when a game is that good, it just makes you sad when you walk out and you realize no longer will you be the person that you were five minutes ago. You're now the person that you are five minutes in the future. <laughs> you were a happier man like five, ten minutes ago than you are right now, right? I'm good. So in a way, that's sad. I mean... Are you depressed? See no. a therapist. Okay. I'll be your therapist. Uh, you right. need help. Find it. Who would win in Dragon Ball Fighters? Me or you? That's me. Who would win in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? Me or you? That's Hercule. That's me, though. Who would kiss the other one first? Me or you? <clears throat> Again, COVID. Only a few hours later. It's fired. They cooked. It took like a little bit to get used to the controls. True. Um, Do you play standard or classic? I played standard. Me? Just cause... I played one game of each, and that was a mistake. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kept going back. I, I kept like, okay, I selected standard now, yeah. and I'm charging on and classic. Yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just went with standard. I was like, you know, let me just fresh game, yeah. fresh mindset. Oh, I really God. liked it. I thought it was sick. The animations are fire. Think it's a little slower than I thought it was going to be, but maybe mm. that's because like the AI was like awful. I'm going to say, like, movement-wise, it didn't feel slower, but the combos are slower. Yeah. It yeah, makes the them feel a little bit more deliberate, which exactly. I kind of like. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, too. And I think, obviously, like, the flashy specials and stuff are, like, the highlight. They look so crazy. I played uh, Super Trunks. Okay. And he does, like, you know, his, his You had 30 minutes, and you just played Super Trunks. Listen, I just wanted to, well, I played I other kind of respect that. I, I kind of want to play Super I want to play Trunks, man. That's, uh, well, I, I thought it was cool. I thought it was awesome. Um, really more animations than I thought. Some of the animations were very well done. Okay. Already impressed with the dialogue. I think I heard you mention that, but my 17 example, I'll, I'll say yeah. this in this. Do it, do it, do it. Do uh, great, great stuff. He uh, he put down Grade 8 Vegeta. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, what do you say to Grade 8, like specifically? He, he said, I know my way around uh, rampaging animals. I know how to handle rampaging animals. That's crazy that they got a line for that. It's crazy, but Grady Vegeta doesn't respond, obviously. He didn't, he didn't want to smoke. Whoa, 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 whoa. He said, this is my final form. I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was awesome. All the dialogue, really cool. Favorite thing, would you say dialogue or something else? Uh, some of the animations were really cool. Um, favorite thing, honestly, just how it's very much the same. Playing a lot of BT2, BT3 lately. You are. I was doing the same combos in this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll already be spamming that one combo I know, so. Yeah. Very similar, and so animations, I guess. That's the biggest upgrade. Honestly, I think one thing I pay attention for in games a lot is movement. Um, the movement just was really engaging for me, like like leading up to like like punching the dodges itself. The short dash, like adds yeah. so much to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true, true. Like I'm really hoping on the scale of when the game is a little older, the meta for it, there's like a lot of options of movement to get out of attacks and just evade things. I really hope there's like a pure meta within the movement that I can see for the. I was struggling with meter because like the mm -hmm. movement actually takes meter. Yeah, I was always yeah, like too. empty. So like yeah, managing that stuff is gonna be interesting. Yeah, like, yeah. it's gonna take a lot of practice, a lot more practice than we just got. Yeah. Uh, favorite thing overall.
just the visuals, like animations, yeah. and then uh, also just like there's a lot of good dialogue that mm. you wouldn't expect. Mm. You know, just like Details. random interactions. Yeah. yeah, attention to detail. It's fire. Favorite thing, the ultimates. I think mm. the ultimates are are the sickest part because that's when you just like you land there and you're like that's it. And also, I like that they simplified them. Like you just press R2 and you select it. Well, so on you classic controls, it's the same thing as before. Oh, really? Yeah. So where you had to okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like the captain. Yeah, I don't know which one I want to play as. I I'm feeling like I want to learn standard. Yeah. Cause, but like Might for this be. demo, I played mostly classic. Yeah. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Um. So the camera movement wasn't bad, but I could definitely, I do think it's a little rough around the edges a little bit, just like mainly when they're like above each other, you know, moments like that feel a little bit. I lost uh, my character a lot too, yeah. yeah. Like, I lost my opponent. I had no idea where they were, even yeah. though I was still locked on. Like I knew they were above me or below me like at times, but like it was just a little jerky in those situations. True. But like if they can round that out, then we're good. It's hard to say. The 30, 30, I, I want to play it again, so that's where I'm at. It's hard to say I want to change something because I want to go back into the same something. So If I could change one thing, it would be my arm would not be tired right now and this camera would not be shaking this much. I feel Can that. I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. I agree. I think they've got some cook here. They do need to change the character select screen though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask. Like, If you could change anything, what would it be? The character select I, I think the character select screen is not pretty final. They're, they're gonna yeah, they're going to change it. It's, it's, like, it's like sideways profiles of people like this. You, know. I know. you didn't even know like when one, <laughs> where one character starts and another one yeah, ends. Like, it's like, which one of you is which? Uh, there's two Gokus in a row. Wait, oh, but then yeah. we go Super Saiyan. Ah, oh, that's early uh, and mid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, God. <laughs> awful, awful. So but yeah, that's not it. the final one. But sure. for the most part, sick animations, good environments. I like it. They're cooking. They're cooking. If you could change one thing, what would it be? Um, maybe I would. There was one character, Trunk, specifically. Very long animation on a normal skill. Mm. I don't think I would make a normal skill that long of an animation. I guess I'll have to see how that plays out online, though. But right now, if you force me to, I'd say that. I would shorten that down a little. Even though it was honestly one of the sicker animations. Just a little too long for a normal skill. And that's everyone that played Dragon Ball Sparking Zero in the same session that I did. And we're all definitely looking forward to playing more, even if there are a couple of things that need that extra polish. If you'd like to know my take on Sparking Zero right now, I think this has a really good chance of becoming the best 3D Dragon Ball game ever made. Not a lot can beat Dragon Ball Fighters for me, but that's just because I'm a fighting game fan. I will always be a DBFZ fanboy. But I was thoroughly impressed with what I played and what they've shown of this game that even if the game comes out with a lot of jank, and this playable demo did have a lot of jank, be it camera collision with the ground, the camera vertical tracking like Siri X explained, that very weird Super Dash recovery bug, or the environment messing with the tracking of your attacks, even if it launches with all of that still in the game, the fact that the developers are so good at taking feedback and fixing things as they learn about them makes me believe that these will not be issues for a long time after launch. And that's if they don't fix things before launching the game, because they very well could. We're all super happy with where the game is at right now, and we cannot wait to see what the full game looks like. But that's gonna do it for today. If you would like to watch the gameplay that I captured at Summer Games Fest, you can check it all out in this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.